It was a planned assassination attempt. This wasn't any sort of mass shooting because the suspect directly targeted only one person. He only targeted Shinzo Abe, shot him twice in the chest. So the 41-year-old who's been taken into custody uh, is in fact, uh, uh, has in fact been taken into custody. He's been identified as Tetsuya Yamagami, 41-year-old in the custody of the Japanese police currently. They're questioning him. We're still trying to get details at this point on exactly who, uh, uh, why he did this, why he targeted Shinzo Abe. Uh, this was during a rally, a very public rally in the middle of the road in Nara city that this attack has happened. You can see the security guards also around Shinzo Abe, unsuspecting they were around him when this attack happened. So there will be questions about that as well. But I'd like to reiterate here that the reason perhaps the security uh, mechanism present there for the former Prime Minister of Japan didn't really kick into action immediately is because something like this has never happened before in Japan's history. A largely peaceful country where shootings, where uh, you know, these kind of uh, violent attacks of political leaders is completely unheard of. But the investigation is underway to identify exactly why Tetsuya Yamagami targeted former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. So the motive at this point hasn't been confirmed by the police. The government also has put out very brief information. They didn't confirm the name of the suspect. That's been confirmed by the police. Uh, he's a local from Nara City. What was the reason that he targeted Shinzo Abe? The government hasn't clarified right now. But right now, we're also focusing on the condition of Mr. Shinzo Abe. Prayers coming in from across the world right now for some good news with regards to Mr. Abe's condition. But the latest, uh, the only update really that we've had, not the latest update because we haven't really received anything from the government just yet. The only update we had was that Mr. Abe was airlifted, taken and rushed to a nearby hospital because he was non-responsive to CPR that was administered to him almost moments after he was attacked. As is the protocol, there was a medical team present there when the former Prime Minister was speaking in Nara City. Uh, they immediately rushed towards him, administered CPR. He was non-responsive, hasn't shown any vital signs. Uh, based on what the paramedic team present there said, uh, he suffered a cardiac arrest after the shooting and has now been airlifted to a hospital. So we're going to await any statement from the government before we speculate further on Mr. Shinzo Abe's condition. That street right there, you see that road, that's where the attack took place. Very public area. You can see that it seems to be one of the most busy circles of Nara city. It was right in the middle of the road that this rally was happening. Mr. Abe was standing on the road there. One of the cameras that we showed you, one of the CCTV images also showed him standing right in the middle of the road. You see those men dressed in blue, perhaps the forensics team, but we'll get a confirmation on that, gathering all possible evidence. A lot of people who've gathered there also to understand what's happened. Uh, but you can see a forensic team present there conducting the investigation. It's pre presumably that was the exact spot where Mr. Shinzo Abe was shot at. The suspect was standing behind him, just meters away uh, from him when he shot at him with a weapon. At this point, it's being said that this was... Uh, using a shotgun that he was targeted. The information we have on the suspect is that 41-year-old Tetsuya Yamagami is a resident of Nara City. So a local who clearly targeted uh, the former prime minister knew he was coming down to his city. Uh, and this was clearly premeditated, not a spur of the moment attack, because he had his weapon on him, knew exactly where, when Shinzo Abe was coming to his city and targeted him. But obviously there are questions at this point on why. Why was Shinzo Abe targeted? He's known as, uh, uh, you know, a conservative uh, in Japan politics, uh, one of the longest, uh, the longest serving uh, prime minister of Japan actually, was known to be hugely popular as well. So this is uh, shocking. This kind of an attack happening in a country like Japan, known to be extremely peaceful, never seen this kind of political violence, never seen this kind of an attack on uh, a high-profile leader either. Uh, these are the latest images that we're getting to you from the site where this happened in Nara city of Japan. Look at that. You see the smoke uh, emerging at that very moment 
that Shinzo Abe was shot at. Uh, we're hearing that it was a shotgun that was used. Uh, and looking at these images also, it definitely looks like it was, in fact, some high-powered uh, firearm that was used. Looking at the smoke and the sound, you can see everyone literally jumping uh, the moment that sound came. And this was the moment when Shinzo Abe was shot. He immediately collapsed to the ground is what we hear. Uh, but uh, the security personnel immediately swung into action. Uh, some of them tended to Shinzo Abe, the others focused the attention on nabbing the suspect, which ensured uh, that Tetsuya Yamagami currently is in police custody. The police at this point are interrogating him, so they've not given too many details on what is the motive. They've only confirmed his identity and confirmed that he's a local of the city. <laughs> そういう判断をした。彼はできない理由を考えたことがない。